beautiful sculpture out here in front of the Gruner Brothers Brewing. Hey everybody, we're gonna go with Sonia. She's gonna show us the brewery. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? <laughs> okay, we'll just start right here, I guess. This is um this is the history of our truck that we have for our logo. Um this actually comes from my side of the family. This is my grandfather's truck. It's um from Beulah, Wyoming, where our Beulah Brown is coming from. And Wow. This is actually downstairs, so I will, that truck is actually downstairs. My husband rebuilt it, and so it's in the garage. So at the end of the tour, you'll, you get to see what the finished product is. I see. And so that is where I grew up, and my parents still live there today. And the name of the dog on the top is Spark, and um, <laughs> that picture was taken in 1941. Wow. Oh, sorry, in 1940 on the bottom there. So it's a 1927 Chevy and the picture was taken in 1940. Hey, 1940 right there. Yeah. Yeah. So dog. <laughs> that's where our logo comes from. Okay. That's great. From our little 1927 Chevy. Okay. We've got this little game room here. Check this out. All right. New change. Okay. We're going to a brewery. You got this room. Isn't this beautiful? You can look at all this guy. These are fermenters. So this is water right here. Um, if anything that has flat on the bottom, the flat tank are, is water that we use to um, start our to run our batches. And then any of the cone shaped tanks are fermenters. Ferment. That's I mean, not been, not ferment, but it'll be it'll age down there until we can it. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is where the process starts. We have two big silos on the outside, on the yeah, I saw north that. What side are they, of the building. Is that where your grain is in yep, those silos? so they'll grain in um, through our grain room, and then right here, um, we'll bring the grain up, and you'll dump it into our the first tank that we have up there, our mash mixer. And so then that just adds water to it. It just starts breaking those grains down and extracting those sugars. Oh my so God. And this, this, this is coming from the, the silos. This from the silos the outside. Okay. Yeah. And so that it just oh, comes, okay. strains all the sugars and the liquid out. And then we have um, our spit grain out that gets extracted out of the water ton. And it gets dumped out the side of the building. And then we have farmers and ranchers that bring their trailers in. And then we just dump the spit grain into their trailers. And then they feed it to the animals. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Thank you. A, and uh, and what would is it different beers in different containers here? Nope. This is all when you're making whatever batch of beer. This so all of our beers go through this process, and then um, in different fermenters there'll be different beers in different. Fermenters. So that's where you get the difference in the beer is the fermenters. Well, this your whatever batch you're making, the ingredients that you put into in the ingredients that you put into the mash mixer. That's where you get the different beer from. I see. So your hops, your grains, um, the, those are the different ingredients that go into whatever beers that you're making. And so that determines it is the amount of the ingredient, amount yeah. of it, yeah. as, and Just, what it is. If you whatever grains you're using um, to make, and your hops to use the different beers. Wow, so. you know a lot about beer. Um, <laughs> I know how to drink it. That's, that's about all I know. Too. <laughs> you don't Darren. drink beer. I do. Drink beer. Oh. My brother-in-law is the brewer, so he if he he will give you a much more in-depth tour, but yeah. he's not available. So, Are, um, do you own this? Is this yours? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. So, um. So then it goes over to our boil kettle, and then the process just keeps on continuing to our whirlpool, and then we extract all of the sugars out, and then from the whirlpool it gets um, dumped into a fermenter, and then ferments depending on the beer how long it ferments in one of the fermenters up there. Hey you guys this lady owns all this. <laughs> <laughs> you better treat her nice, all right? She's got the beer. <laughs> this is incredible. How long you been here? 
So we bought this building in 2017 and remodeled it. We opened at the end of the in December of 2018. Oh, hey, so I we're do. Pretty new. I do want to tell you that I had your Pilsner when we were here last time, and we have your, uh, oh, the Pale Ale right now. Yes. It is absolutely, totally incredible. Thank you. And I don't drink before noon. I mean, <laughs> the Pale Ale is uh, one of my very favorites. Okay. And just think that Darren, our brewer, any style that he makes, he just nails it. He just has a really good job. Okay. So grab your beer if you want to, and the rest of it is downstairs. So from here, from this, from the brew house, this room, we um, push the beer down in pipes downstairs. Oh, yeah, I so, want to see it. Yeah, the canning line is running if you want to come down. Ah, I want to see <laughs> it. If you want to grab your beer, you can. Here we go down. This is where the fermenters, it's dumped. Okay. Is that the right term, dump? Well, yeah, we push it down. And pushed, it, yeah. pushed, okay. It's pushed, not dumped, y'all. Then it comes down to our canning room, wash your stuff. Um, so we centrifuge it, and from there, so it comes out of these pipes right here, behind you. The beer comes out of the pipe. Um, we centrifuge it, and then we put it into one of the bright tanks. Oh, wow. So from the bright tank, you can see the hoses running. Then we run our canning line. Oh, look at this, you guys. We're getting a tour, man. So the canning line of you can watch the seven teeth right there. And so it'll fill the beer with those seven tubes that come down. It fills the beer. Can I get a close-up? Okay, here's the process. So hands come down. We're following along here. Load the can. <laughs> and they're back to the and you see what's happening here. Put the label on right there. Come on in. And these guys are doing it. So that's their pinning our fluffy towel right now. And this is our latest IPA that we have, our fluffy cow hazy IPA. Oh my god. So then this is the old truck. Look at this, you guys. Is this the original truck? So this is the original, yes. So a lot of this stuff on the bottom, we had to repair because the wood was too deteriorated. But this is the original 1927 paneling from the side of it. And it's the original color that would have been when it was made. <laughs> so then we put our logo on the side. Um, yeah, is that, isn't that is beautiful logo, truck. you guys? Look this at this. Is, I used to play in this when I was little. Well, of oh my god, like you're this. kidding me. No, I, yeah. So this is my grandfather's truck. Oh, look so. at this, you guys. Look. Look. It's fascinating. What year is it again? 41, you said? 1927. Oh, 27. This is oh, 27. That, yeah. oh, the picture was 40. The picture was 1940. And in 1941, they got a, a Dodge. And so that's actually our double clutch logo is our 1941 Dodge. <laughs> Let me get a front of this one. Yeah. It's hard to take oh, look guys. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my goodness. They knew how to build them in those days, didn't they? Okay. Well, is that it? So that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Angel. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. You're thank you so it's much. Nice to meet you. Okay, you know, we've stayed at a lot of Boondockers Welcome and Harvest Hose throughout the years, five years. And I'm gonna have to tell you, this is one of the best ones right here. Harvest Hose. All right. Darks. This kind of neat play golf here, huh? Eh? All kinds of games at the pool table here. Good leave.
I'm just admiring this beautiful place. Okay. <laughs> Let me know if you need a drink. Oh, thank you, darling. We're going. Yeah, we'll go to beer one a year. I think it feels her. She's going to want, but I'll see what she wants. Okay, that yeah. sounds good. Thanks. Thank you, honey. <laughs> We're going to take him outside. <laughs> we'll get us a couple of beers. What do you want to eat? The pills. Are, oh, well, I'll take a burger. Okay. 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 Absolutely gorgeous, y'all. This is that craft Pilsner. They were out of the Pilsner. Pardon me? This is a pale ale. They were out of Pilsner. Oh, okay. Thank you. I wanted to ask you, what beer is this now? It's not the Pilsner. It, it's a pale ale. Pale ale? Hmm. Well, thank you. I got a yard, uh, a wild yard bird. Oh, great. Well, there's no one here. That's for Scooter. He gets, we get him chicken tenders every time. And I tend to get a burger. Yeah, that's pretty good. Time to chow down. Like I said, they are so friendly here. They actually have designated RV parking spots. Right here, as you can see very easily. They're 16 by 46. I think one of them's a little smaller. But they are Harvest Host members. See, they're full over here. They got one left over here for maybe a van to back in or something. That's nice. And all this beauty back over in here. If you were dining outside, and the outside dining here uh, at the brewery, uh, this is the shot you would get at night. This is the view you would get this night. And it's night. <laughs> but it's really quite beautiful. This is Casper, Wyoming. At night. It takes a lot of energy to make beer, y'all. <laughs> 